It's a nice one. It's a nice one. All right, we got rid of the scupper cart. We got a sea tug now. No complaints. All right, let's organize. Get the kayak out there. It looks like a nice, beautiful day. It's just a little, uh, it's just kind of frosty. It's in the mid 30s right now, but it should get up to about 50. So let's get out there. All right, there you go. First, uh, first little pit stop. Today looks a little different than last week. We definitely don't have the, the bait situation. Definitely not, nothing like the other week, so might be a good thing. Some life on the pictograph. I wanted him. Dude. You know what that is? Ling, yeah. That is good eating. We'll keep him. Dingling. I think that's the squirrel hake variety. This is a good eating fish though. Ooh. Gently put him back here. Hopefully Mary Lee does not take a liking to the Ling commotion. Got Megalodon. Oh, ho, ho. More fish fry material. The big pink fish. Picking away at the fish fry. Not much else doing. Frying fish tonight. Boy, that was slammer. I went in the ocean to catch a 12 inch croaker. Looks like I got a big pig fish out of this deal. And the ling. Better fillet him while the girls don't see it. She'll be like, what are you cleaning? I'll be like, well, I go, you know, just the, their, their delicacies in Europe. Yeah, I got the 13 inch pig fish though. Well, I'm a rich man today. Well, you might have considered that to be a trash fish day. Some people would. I'm making lemonade out of lemons. That's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I know somebody's gonna be like, no such thing as trash fish, only trash fishermen. I agree, but still, you know. It's not, it's not intended targets or catches, you know? It's kind of scrapping together a day. So what's interesting about that, those are three very underrated fish. The ling, the pig fish, and the croaker, they're all real underrated. Catch and cook, the winter bucket slam. We're gonna get ice for our prized catch today. Damn, that sucked. That was one of the first times I ever got skunked fishing for reds. I guess it's mid-January. Um, so tomorrow's weather's gonna be pretty good, so I'll mix this with tomorrow's video. Uh, I'm gonna go togging tomorrow, target tog primarily. Uh, you know, weak fish, stuff like that. That was an interesting one. So we'll fry those up tomorrow. Um, let's try to grab a couple tog too. I think that's probably gonna be the right call. A little more head scratching action, it's not a bad thing. Um, so uh, tomorrow we'll tune in, we're gonna surf launch again. I'm going a totally different area though trying to go for more of the variety type of fishing. So uh, back in the ocean tomorrow, we'll, we'll give it another go uh, and see what we can do. All right, here goes again, round two. Damn, well, I don't have ice fishing here. So I guess this is my equivalent, ice scraping my car in the morning. Not too sure about that launch today. There you go, you did it. <laughs> It's not that bad, but it, you, if you f*** it up, it's so bad. <laughs> oh, you gotta follow that line to the T, man. Let's see. It's definitely an interesting launch. Yeah, it might, you might have brought in sea bass and ringtails. I'm seeing a good pile of life now. 
No, nah, me neither. I'm just seeing a couple sea bass. I haven't seen any grays really either. Got him. Oh yeah. Had to, had a lot of a lot of trashy hits first. Nice talk. Took time. Took a minute. A minute to change, rather. Went through a lot of crap for that fish. First tog of the morning. Is it a big, big one? Uh, nah, don't worry. I'm going after the, the rest. And uh, it's a nice time. 18, 19. Not bad. Boy, this trip was actually a lot tougher than the last time I dropped the camera around here. Fishing a slightly different environment, but uh, no drum on camera, no sheep's head, no weak fish, no tug. Um, it's really just ringtails lots of ringtails and these guys are curious these guys make this sort of tog fishing very very difficult and they were everywhere down here today so uh yeah i, I suspected they would be down here and there they are Serious ringtailage. That's a serious ringtail. Definitely, definitely jumbo porgy size. Great to porgies, you'll like those. They're not bad, but don't need too many. 800 ringtails later. tog right there not a bad one got nothing to catch on the jigs today so it's kind of boring fishing i wouldn't say boring but yeah you know, one stop uh one type of fishing really that's just the crab and there's not really much else to work with but uh that's cool got our second tog there Red. I think so. Maybe big tog, I don't know. Damn. Damn, hit with authority. Big tog, probably. Fish fight hard, man. That's the redfish. Beautiful. Nice little mixed bag today, for sure. All right, All right. see you later. Upper slot. Uh, that was. Uh, it might have been over. All right, we caught a couple of fish. We didn't kill it. Uh, we might die on <laughs> this landing is going to be interesting. Uh, I 
think we'll be okay, but it's gonna be. I'm gonna sweat. I'm gonna sweat today. I'm gonna sweat. Hopefully, we got a nice little deep channel come through. If we don't today, game over. We're gonna find out right now, though. All right, so this is our trash slam. Sure, they're not glorious or particularly fun to fish for, um, but I'm always amazed the amount of people that look at these fish. Sure, these aren't my sporting aspect. I don't care to catch them or go out and target them. But the amount of negativity I got on an Instagram post where I threw these guys up, I know for a fact these all taste great. And it's winter, and people were like trashing me that I'm eating a bunch of trash fish. I don't know, it's weird, it's a weird world. Definitely one of the best fried fish you can have, if you ask me. Um, definitely something I always enjoy. They don't freeze that well, though. Very soft fish, but look at that flesh. Snow White. This little guy's got a good amount of meat on him, man. They're not bad. They are just kind of gnarly looking and kind of gross, but uh, this Ling and Hake family, it's good stuff. You're not so fabulous croaker. This is a, you know, 12 and a half, 13 incher. I honestly just kept them to complete the word slam in the video title. Last but not least, that's a big old pigfish. Related to grunt, um, very good. Great fried, it's, this one tastes real good. Gotta make tacos for people that aren't me, so some of it is gonna be eaten by me. I will try a little bit of everything. Our contestants, we have the frozen flounder, we've got the pigfish, we've got the ling or hake croaker, and yeah, a little bit of tog. We got cilantro, pico, limes, uh, extra crispy shake and bake, that's the one you want. Salt, pepper, chili powder, little bit of cumin. Egg, shake and bake, fry. First contestant is frozen flounder. Okay, and that's our fish taco dressing. That's gonna go on top. That's just sour cream, mayo, jalapenos, garlic powder, black pepper, and a little bit of sriracha. Creamy and, oh, juice of one lime. So it's creamy, it's got a good consistency. There it is, contestant number one. Here we go. Taste test number one. Good, but bland. There's not much, not much doing in it, you know? If a restaurant served me this, this is pretty much what I expect out of a restaurant. Not blown away, but pretty good. Flounder gets a pass. Let's see what the pigfish does. Pigfish, will you take down the flounder fish, the frozen flounder fish tacos? We will find out right now. Pigfish dethrones frozen flounder. Much better than frozen flounder. Much more texture. Next up is Ling. Looking good too, man. This is good stuff, good stuff. I like this catch and cook. Fried fish, yummy. There's a recipe in the video's description. These came out banging actually, so thumbs up on that. Let's give Ling a try, then Croaker, then the Tog, and we gotta go. Man, I feel like I'm in college today. Running late. Running late to something kind of important, so. Ling is the winner. I, I know there's somebody sitting there at home right now saying, well, you can't tell what they taste like when you fry them like that and smother them in sour cream and spices and herbs. If you put a bunker in there right now, or a 10 pound bluefish in this taco shell, it would suck. I'll tell you that. So I'm pretending like the taco is talking to you. But uh, let's try the croaker. See, this one's not as good. It's not bad. And I would still eat it. But, it's kind of like a weaker link. Alright, we worked hard. Um, we didn't catch a whole lot the last couple of days. We fished in the ocean. Fin the final taco. Uh, talk. And then I gotta run. I gotta bring those over, keep them warm, etc. This is a great way to consume mystery fish. Um, all right, let's rank them. Number one is the Ling. Ling was the best. Best fish taco, best fried fish I ever had in ages. I've had Ling in a long time, and I remember once upon a time when I was cod fishing, 
that's how old I was. I could say I went cod fishing. <laughs> um, went cod fishing and like some old grumpy dudes used to kick those down the rail. Them and the Burgals, people viewed them as trash. I mean, when you're out cod fishing, you're fishing for meat, not sports. So it didn't really, anyway. So Ling was number one. Uh, number two, I'm gonna give to the Tog right now. That's still a bomb. Number three, I'll give to the Pigfish. Number four, I will give to the Frozen Flounder. And number five, I'll give to the Croaker. Um, it, all edible, all, you know, good. Anyone should eat them. But uh, the croaker was kind of like, texture was, eh, it didn't have much, didn't add much to the value of a taco. While the other fish were flavorful and had good textures, uh, crab-like, shrimp-like, all that stuff. Dead heat of winter, that's the fishing, that's January. I think we'll start doing a little bit of freshwater fishing and brackish water. Um, still not bad. There's links in the video's description of everything we used, um, from bottom sweepers to the recipe. Cannot complain catching tog in January and redfish in January and a bunch of other fish in January. Um, thanks for tuning in. I uh, hope you enjoyed. That was fun. I gotta run. I will catch up with you guys very soon.